Hello, I'm Hui. So we are at the Huawei IDI Forum uh, 2024 in Berlin. So today we are honored to invite Dr. Julian to join us. Thank you for the invitation. So my name is Julian Kunkel. I'm a professor in computer science at the University of Göttingen. And secondly, I'm a deputy head at GWDG. My research is focused on HPC storage. And I know that in this morning you, have, you had an education session and you made the presentation. Yeah, sure. So I was basically t talking about the trends and the development, the transformation that we have from the user side and from the system side. There will be a huge change, I would think, that is necessary in order to keep pace with all the, the necessities of the users. HPC now is a quite a hard topic. So uh, what kind of a trade do you think the major, major trade uh, for the HPC? Yeah, so as trend, there are two from my perspective. One is that we see more and more that focus on the domain of AI. HPC is now all starting from the storage side to become storage for focused on AI and cloud vendors. That means now we have to start using tools um, that are developed for cloud, yeah, cloud native applications and all of that, and basically adjust them that they fit into the HPC in our data centers. Secondly, the heterogeneity of the systems. Nowadays we have many types of compute, but also many types of storage. Different storage vendors, zoo of interfaces, and that kind of makes the life very difficult, not only for the users, but also for the data center to make the right choice. What kind of uh, new requirements that you think that uh, this trade will bring to the storage? So one is uh, that we want to achieve consistent performance and performance portability for the users. So users have to spend a lot of time to optimize their applications for a certain environment. And then what happens, they go to a different system and maybe they have to change all the settings substantially. That obstacle we have to overcome as a community by providing meaningful hints from the user. So uh, consider this, you, do you think that, uh, or do you have the plan to, uh, uh, to adapt the test case for this kind of trade? I would say, yeah, there is the need to adjust the existing patterns, for example, to include particularly random workloads Workloads that mimic a bit more the AI workloads. So, as I know that the IO500 included uh, two models, uh, easy model and the hard models. Actually, the storage performance is uh, absolutely uh, much lower uh, when we use the, the hard model. And uh, yeah, so do you have uh, uh, any uh, idea that uh, what is the proportion of the applications which use the harder model? We know that those patterns are relevant, but the ratio depends a lot on the specific supercomputer and their need. We try to help people that have a natural way of accessing data, yeah, which would be the hard way, for example. You want to access a matrix in a row, I need to switch into a mode where I store each part of my matrix in an independent file. This is much more effort. But of course, we will go down this row if this costs you, let's say, 100,000 euros of data access, you know, to provide this performance. Therefore, I think the truth is we want storage systems to support those patterns and get the hard performance as good as the easy performance. And that would allow the users to do what they used to do without adjusting, without change. And that would be the most usable and user-friendly approach. If uh, you recommend it to ad adjust the application or to optimize the storage? We need to adjust both, yeah? So the storage should adjust to, to facilitate any kind of access pattern that gets thrown on it, yeah? But of course, it would be nice if the users adjust for the hero runs their, their code to throw a more useful pattern on top of the storage. Okay, thank you very much.